Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of GSA Magical Moments. I'm Miss Linda. And it is Thursday, and we've been talking about spring all week. I have Vivi here with me again as my helper. Hi. Uh, so we're going to continue to talk about spring today. Um, yesterday, if you joined us yesterday, um, we encouraged you to go exploring through your yard or your neighborhood to see different things that you could find in your area, in your yard in the springtime. Good morning, Miss Andrea and Tommy and Olivia. Hi, Kira. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. So, um, if you did go exploring, I really want to hear about the things that you saw or found around your neighborhood in the spring. Um, and yesterday, after I saw you, I saw a lot of different animals just in our yard. Hi. I know. I have nowhere else to hide <laughs> with the LOLs in the background. Um, so um, yesterday, just in our little backyard, I saw a bunny, a couple bunnies, um, some robins, some cardinals, which are the birds when the male birds are really red. Um, and then I saw a squirrel who was hanging out for a little while because I don't know if you joined me last week when we made the um, bird feeders, but we have our bird feeder hung up. And the squirrel, I watched him trying to get to the bird feeder, but he couldn't get to it because of the butterfly bush that it's on. It wasn't heavy enough to hold him and he was really trying to figure out how to do it. I forgot to water the plants. Later. It's okay, we'll water the plants later. And so don't forget to keep doing your observations of the plants that you, or the seeds that you planted so we can see them again next week. Um, and then share some of the pictures that you, um, or share some pictures that you drew or saw of um, springtime things in your yard or your neighborhood. Um, today we're going to read a story and it's called Do Like Duck Does. And I think this is another one of Miss Andrea's. I must have grabbed the right book then when I was at school. So Do Like Duck Does. And in this story, I want you to think about um, a couple of things. So the animals in this story talk. So I want you to think if this story is real or if it's make-believe. Okay, so think about that. Is it real or make-believe? Yeah, it's make-believe because animals can't really talk. Right, so it's a fun story. And I also want you to think about the characters in the story. So do you know what a character is? Yeah, characters are people or animals that are in the story. So by looking at the front cover, we can look at some of the characters that might be in the story. And I see ducks and I see a fox. So that might be some of the characters in our story today. So we're going to go ahead and read. And this is by Judy Hinley, and it's illustrated by Ivan Bates. So do like duck does. Five little ducklings following their mother. Whatever any duck does, so does every other. So you can also hear some rhyming words in this book. So um, mother and other rhyme. Remember, rhyming words sound the same. And we can count our ducks. We have one two, three, four, five. Or in Spanish, we say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And do you remember how to say duck in Spanish? Yep, yeah, it's pato. Quack. So they waddle and they hop, and they scuttle and they stop. Flop, 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 flop. All together. Quack, says Mama Duck. That's the way to be. Do like a duck does. Do like me. So I hear rhyming words, me and me, and they are flopping. So after this story, I'll give you some ideas to um, get moving at home with some of the stuff that they do in this book. And look, how do they look? She looks really happy, huh? There go the ducklings all in a line, but who's creep creeping close, following behind? <gasps> Who is that? It's a fox, and he's creeping. And look at the mama's face. She's 
protecting her babies. Wait, says Mama, you don't belong with us. Stop, says Mama, do you think you're a duck? He's not a duck, what is he? But of course, says the stranger with a waddle and a strut, that's just what I am, a big brown duck. Well, he has no feathers and he has no beak. He has fur claws on his hairy, scary feet. He has two ears that stick up a mile and a wicked foxy nose and a wicked foxy smile. So Mama says, well, then do like us. Head up, tail up, toes pointing out. Stretch your little wings, dear. Straighten up your back. Do like a duck does. Quack, quack, quack. Can you do like a duck does? Hi, Miss Megan. Hi, Miss Tracy and Tori and Tegan. Good morning. Quack, quack, quack. So let's count them. Make sure they're there. One, two, three, four, Five, they're still there. And look at this little guy. He found something. What does he have? It's a worm. Hmm. Let's see. Then mama leads them off together. Hop, hop, hop. Five little ducklings and a big brown duck. A hairy, scary stranger. A very silly duck. So he's pretending to be a duck. What do you think the fox really wants to do? Think about that. What do you think the fox really wants to do? Hello, Mr. Reese. Look, says Mama, what a lovely patch of muck. So muck. What she's talking about is the mud, because they like to play in mud, just like the pigs. Jump in the puddle, dear. Show you're a duck. Lots of bugs and beetles swimming in the scum. Open up your beak, dear. Yum, yum, yum. So the ducks like to eat the bugs and beetles and things that are in the mud. But look at the fox, because he's pretending to be a duck. Do you think he likes that? How can you tell? Right, he doesn't like that. And you can tell by his face. He's like, ugh. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Lila. So there they are. Now the very hairy stranger has some notions of his own. And he's looking at the duckling when he says, yum, yum. Oh, look at his face now. He's licking his lips. But look at Mama's face. She looks mad. Yeah, she's going to protect them. And he's creeping even closer. And he's very, very near. But Mama turns and catches him and says, Look here. You don't like bugs. You don't like muck. You can't say quack. Are you sure you're a duck? Oh, now how does the fox look? He kind of looks a little worried. Yes, I am, says the stranger. It's really, really true. I can waddle, I can scuttle, I can strut a little too. I'm a duck, I'm a duck, I'm a duck like you. I don't know about that. So Mama says, show it, prove you're a duck. Do like a duck does, do like us. Then they zip through the thistles. There they go, look how fast. And they slip into the river. Plop, 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 all together. So look at the little ducks, the patos, patitos. And they look like they're smiling, like they're happy because ducks love the water. And then look at the fox. He's holding his nose. Oh, I don't know. Down the ducklings, all tails up, and down goes the stranger. Glup, glup, glup. So what happened to the fox? You can see the ducks. They have webbed feet, which means they're very good swimmers, and they can float really well. And look at the fox. 
Looks like he's jumping. He's sinking. And look at his face. Now he got himself into trouble. So where are all the ducklings now? Here they all come. Pop, 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 pop. Every one. They're all there having some fun in the water. Where do you think the fox went? Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, let's see. But where's that very hairy, scary stranger? Look at him, gone home. He's walking over the bridge because he doesn't like the water. And well, says Mama, what a bit of luck, but I really always knew that was no duck. So Mama knew this page is a little ripped, but Mama knew that wasn't a duck. And she protected her babies. And there the fox goes. And let's count, ready? Make sure they're there. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, patitos. They're all still there and they're happy. So in this story, our characters were the ducks, the baby ducks, the mama duck, and the fox. Yep, so they were the characters in this story. And baby ducks make me think of spring because I get to see um, some baby ducks walking around and some baby geese. And if you join Miss Tiffany this morning, she did some exercising with you. Um, we're gonna continue that. So I can even post this on, do you wanna help me or no? I can even post this uh, on Facebook. So there's activities that are super easy for you to do at home to get your children moving. It might be a little rainy today. You could still go outside and play, um, but you know, do like a duck does. So I'll post this for you. Um, but you could do have them act out all the different uh, movements from the story and the characters. So waddle. So I I put it as freeze dance. So every kid loves to freeze dance. You pick a super fun song, play it for a little bit pause it and they have to freeze, can't move at all. And all, all my friends know how to play this game. So maybe you have to teach the adults at home how to play this game. So you freeze, you can't move. But instead of dancing, you're gonna act like the animals um, did in the story. So you're gonna waddle, scuttle, you can flap your wings like the ducks did. You can creep like the fox on your tippy toes. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this um, freeze dance at home. I miss Dory, uh, but I will post it and it gives you some ideas. My helper was going to read it to you. Um, she got a little sidetracked and that's okay. Um, so don't forget that um, we have two more magical moments tomorrow. And then I want to see your, some of your observations of the seeds that you planted um, next week. So share them with us, whether it's email or you can post them on Facebook. And if you missed any of our Facebook magical moments, please Go to our YouTube channel so you can see them. Um, there's lots of fun stuff and fun activities that we've been doing throughout the weeks and stories that have been read. And I miss you all very much and I can't wait to see you again and I hope you have a wonderful day and weekend. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, bye, there she is. <laughs>